All right, so here we are on, on today's learning to ride my GS. We are about to tackle Bountiful Peak Road, Farmington Canyon Road more, more accurately. I don't know if we'll make the turn all the way up to Bountiful Peak or not, but uh, just got the tires aired down. To uh, 20, well, I had gone down to 25, but then the uh, warning system was going off, so um, I went back, put a little bit of air in there. They're more around 27 right now. So both of them are at 27, and I rode about mm, three quarters of a mile on the pavement to get up here, and you can definitely tell some sluggish, sluggish tire performance. But I'm hoping that that's going to uh, lend itself to a much more enjoyable trip up this freaking formidable road for my first outing, really. So uh, let me get myself suited up, strapped up here, and we'll get underway. far so good that's a lot of fun a lot of standing up which reminds me uh, I forgot to set the standing up brake mode down here so let me get that going there we go got a higher brake uh, pad for your boot anyway holding up pretty well so we're a little bit ways up this is the junction for Bountiful Peak we're going to continue on to Francis Peak. So, this is going to be cool. So here we are, just under the radar domes, which are actually up there, Francis Peak, and uh, those kids are working hard to get that snow field cleared out for their Land Rover. And in the meantime, I'm going to scout out this, this trail, this potential, uh, to see how I think the GS would do <clears throat> cruising across this, and so far... Seems doable, just a little sketchy. You can get your rock on each tire on one of these wrongs incorrectly and boop, right down you go. So, doesn't really look like anything that's too treacherous, but uh, let's cruise around this corner over here. So where I really wanted to get to today is over that way. Man, this is, this is a pretty, pretty serious trail, actually. This is about the extent of what I anticipate <clears throat> really using the GS for, routinely that is anyway. Road's about like this, and not probably too much worse. There's the radar dishes. Let's see what's around this corner. Well, I was thinking it'd be pretty good to go all up until this part here. I'm just pretty much climbing straight up here. <sighs> Critical tire placement. And lots of potential to tip it right over, man. Lay it right down. Just because of the climbing. And potentially because of the slick tires I got <clears throat> so whew, not so sure and then I gotta drop back down this whole mess one false blip of the throttle beep, beep, man high consequences other than this stretch 
I was thinking it would be just fine. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, already walked over here a minute ago. But uh, yeah, this is where I envisioned arriving to today. Kind of was the objective. At least that stretch right there. And I wanted to maybe venture down yonder. But that's okay. tires for this uh, probably next month maybe the month after but uh, I think I could do this trail and get up here and it's pretty enticing to want to do that but I think it's just cool to play the conservative card and play it safe and uh, not risk just losing traction because my tires have no side traction so as I'm up on the sides here it's like <laughs> tire slips out I just don't want to ding up my fancy new bike in the first week I have it it's not that I'm too terrified of doing it it's just it's probably not the best thing to do so I think what I'm gonna do use a little bit of daylight that I still got left I'm gonna venture down over that way into that uh, what would you call it a big saddle the forest over there bountiful campgrounds area and then after that we will continue on up the bountiful peak road it almost looks like there's snow crossing it, but I think we can make it. And we'll drop back down into Bountiful and call it a night. All right, dudes, well, it's okay if you laugh at me for wearing uh, this jacket because it barely freaking fits me. <laughs> Pretty epic place. If you're ever cruising through uh, up Interstate 15 through Salt Lake City, that is the Great Salt Lake just out yonder. You've got to look up Francis Peak above Farmington, right above the amusement park, Lagoon, um, Farmington Canyon. It's an easy road, and the scenery does not disappoint. You've got this side, the west side there, and then you've got the east side of the ridge. This thinking battery died. It's a good thing I got four of them, huh? Four, uh, actually three, Amazon specials. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, is that uh, on the west side of the ridge here, you've got the Great Salt Lake. On the east side, you've got the glorious little sleepy little country town of Morgan, Utah. And out to the east, you've got Echo Lake. You just can't beat it. It's beautiful up here. We're probably at around 10,000 feet. I don't know, somewhere around there. And uh, all right, so. That's a wrap for this spot. We're going to, uh, with a little bit of daylight we got left, we're going to mount up the old GS, the old new GS, and uh, head up that road I was talking about earlier. So here we go, let's get it on. So yeah, changing out the visor here to night mode. The 
AGV. They make it super easy. You just slide that little tab down right there. Boop. Stick it right on. Slide it on. Slide it up. Other side. There we go. That's all there is to it. One thing about this helmet is I wish that it was a little stronger holding this up. There's not a very positive detent right here on that spring. I mean, good enough, I guess, but... But what I do love about it is it's got the latch right there, so that is freaking sweet. <laughs> freaking what cool is that? Well, there you go. First turfer. That's all right. No injuries. Probably even no scratches. So, I think we're good. Come on, baby. If my foot wasn't stuck under the damn saddlebag, I probably would have uh, been able to right right out of that shit but alas it was not it's okay <laughs> man thank god there's no freaking injuries Whew. that could have been freaking disastrous <laughs> shit all right Get this fucking bike out of here. Ugh. Okay. Foot pegs. Okay. That's on. This is on. That's on. We're in gear. in hell. <laughs> that was actually pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> well, holy shit. Oh boy. Just hope I didn't bang her up too bad. I don't even think, uh, oh man, I don't know if that's a scratch or a bug. This side over here ended up going into the freaking 
bushes and sticks there. But uh, yeah, I think she'll be fine. I don't think that's bent or anything. A little mud out of here, mud out of there. A bit of leaves out of there. It's pretty freaking epic. That's fine, that's fine. No dents. Ah, oh, boy. Just had to give it the gusto. It's kind of either that or turn all the way back, so pretty kick ass. Let's continue. Well, my dudes, that was a most epic first day out, really off-roading on the GS, man. Got her all dirty. <laughs> I love it. Love it. And so I'm going to probably set the camera up over here for a time lapse to drop down this canyon and try to keep my wits about me and be extra cautious. Street tires, street-ish tires, whatever, limited visibility dirt road so here we go that'll be it for today thanks for tagging along what a cool experience this was it's gonna be fun when i got some buddies to take up on that route what a perfect uh training practice trail to take this bad boy on couldn't have worked any better so super stoked stoked chart stoked level off the charts and uh, now for a nice peaceful cruise down into Farmington, air up the tires, and then cruise over to the uh, Kangaroo Racing Crew headquarters. So that's a wrap. Enjoy the sunset driving down, and uh, see you on the next go.